everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. Only today we are painting Seraphon. Yes, we're painting the Saurus Astrolith Bearer here today. And he's a really cool model, and I've been wanting to get around to doing him for a while. And, well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So, we're going to jump in and we're going to start painting him. He's been primed in Wraithbone. The colour we're going to be using first is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Frost Heart and Contrast Medium. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the inside of his skin. So we're going for like this little bit here and this bit here on the underside of his tail like so and then we're going to continue this along like that Come over the other side. Do the underside of that bit as well. And then, you wanna just right under here, add a little bit. Paint this over this section here as well. Like that. And then we've got the inside of the tummy. Like that. Bring it right around. Then we've got this little section here as well. And then we've got the underside of the mouth. So with that now done, what we're going to do is going to take a roughly four parts Achillean green to one part contrast medium mix. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of his remaining kind of scales and, and skin that we haven't already done. We're just going to start around here. Like that. And the reason we've got the contrast medium in here is just to really just improve the flow. So with that all done, what we're then going to do is take a roughly one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one mix of contrast medium, Achillean green, and ultramarine's blue. And we're going to apply this over the top of pretty much all of him, but we're going to be doing a little bit of blending. So we're going to start down here on the tail. I'm going to apply this like this, and down there like that, and then bring this along. Like so. And then on the tail, on the underside, we're going to apply this like so. We're going to then wash the brush, touch off the water, and then we're just going to blend that colour into the frost heart that we did originally. Like so. We need to do the same thing along here. 
and in there, like that. Wash the brush, touch off the water. then get in there like so. We will do the other side as well whilst we're thinking about it. That way we're done with tail land. Get it all over. Catch the underside. Wash the brush, touch off the water, and give it a good blendy blendy on the underside of the tail, like so. And then similarly, like that, wash the brush. the old blend. Like that. And we really want to continue this process over the top of the rest of him. That's a little bit easier. It's not quite as narrow an area to do. Get it all over his back, for example. Like that sort of thing. And then really, the main area to pay attention to is going to be the tummy. So we get this all over the arm. Watching out for any large dark pools, we don't want those. Like that, and then right under here on his armpit, I'm going to apply some of this like this over the torso, wash the brush, touch off the water, and then smooth out the transition like that. A little bit easier on this guy than it is on the Saurus Warriors because they've got all that kind of open space. Got the same thing here on the chin. So you apply this all over like that. Wash the brush. Touch off the water. And then give it the blend up the front. And then we've got the kind of this area as well. All of that. We get this all over like that. Wash the brush. Touch off the water. And give it the blend. And so with that done, we then got one last blue to apply, which is going to be some Storm Fiend. And we're going to apply this to all the darkest and largest scales. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to dry brush all the scales using some Lotherm Blue. I'm going to be really careful here 
and just gently apply this. Just like this. And with that Lotham Blue dry brush applied, we then want to take some Baharoth Blue and we want to apply a really gentle dry brush of this over the top. Kind of like a spot highlight. So with that all done, it's now time to move on to some other colours. The first of these is going to be all of the rope. And the colour we're going to be using for this is some Flesh Terrors Red. And there's quite a lot of this. So just keep an eye out. just make your way around the model with that all done we're then going to take some black legion and then we're going to apply this over the top of his little claws Like that sort of thing. We're going to apply this over the top of most of the weapon as well. Like that sort of thing. We've got the inner bit as well. But what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over top of the alternate triangles, which we did with the red, which I forgot to mention in the previous take. With that Black Legion all applied, what we're then going to do is take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over top of his teeth in there like that and we're going to apply this over the top of the horns back here on the tail I guess they're not horns and tail spikes And so with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Retributor armor. And we're gonna apply this over pretty much all of the remaining details. We're not gonna do all of the standard just yet. We will do the banner pole, or the astrolith is what it actually is. But for the rest of it, we are simply going to apply Retributor armor across all of the remaining details.
So with all that Retributorama applied, as you can see, it's quite a lot of gold, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to now shade it using some Gilliman Flesh. So I'm just going to start direct here on the tail and then work my way around the model. So with that all done, we've got him basically up to a War Hipster Battle Ready standard. So he's looking pretty cool. But what we're going to do is we're now going to do the Astrolith itself. And, well, the colour we're going to start with is Croak Green. I'm going to be applying this over the top of all of the sort of statuey, jady bits. So we're going to start up here and get this whole section done. Like that, but we of course also have all of the rest of it. So with all of that croak green applied, we're then gonna take some Griff Charger Grey. And we're gonna apply this over top of this back section up here. Like that. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over all of the big bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to blend it on this stone just here. So the one, two, third one back. So we're going to start with this one here. And I'm just going to apply this. Like that sort of thing. And then on this one here, we want to do about two thirds of the stone, like that. Wash the brush, touch off the water, and then around there, we want to blend the two colors together to create this lovely fade. Like that sort of thing.
With that grip charge and grey applied, we're then going to take a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part pterodon turquoise mix. And we're going to do even more blending. And we're going to start up here on this kind of back bit. So we want to apply this over this kind of panel and bring it all the way down like that. We're going to then wash the brush, touch off the water, and then we're going to blend the colour just like that sort of thing and then on the main statue we're going to do exactly the same thing from the same position so from here apply this pterodon turquoise and contrast medium mix all over like that wash the brush touch off the water and then feather away at the colour to blend it so it starts to blend in the same positions. Like that. So with that done, we now come to our final kind of blendy blendy layer. And this is going to be a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and black Templar. And this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky. So what you want to do is you want to kind of be very, well, you want to be very careful as always. But we want to start here. This is where the blend begins. And we're also going to blend at the other end on this large piece just here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by applying this over the top of this stone there and then I'm going to apply this over about two thirds of that block there. Wash the brush, touch off the water and then further away at that transition line Just like that to give it that lovely blend like so. Similarly we want to apply this over the top of this block here like that and then we want to bring it down around about that much of the block Wash the brush, touch off the water, and then give it the blends. Like 
like that. A little bit more. And then, the only thing left to do is to colour in the rest of it. If you want to, it's not quite dark enough. You can do this twice. That's up to you. It shouldn't need it as it will dry a little bit darker. But like I said, if you want to, you absolutely can. So with that all done, we can now finally move on to the next details, which is going to be the inner ring, which is going to be some black legion. And we're just gonna apply this all over the top. The kind of runes and stuff are a different color, but we're gonna deal with that when we get past the battle ready stage. So with that now done, what we're then going to do is take two colours, Bad Moon Yellow and Striking Scorpion Green, and we're going to apply these over the top of the feathers. So we're going to start with Bad Moon Yellow. We're going to apply this all over the top of the feathers. Like that. Then we're going to wash the brush. Touch off the water. Grab some Striking Scorpion Green. Then we're going to apply this towards the tips of the feathers, like so. Wash the brush, touch off the water, then we can use just a little bit more bad moon yellow. like that to blend them together. That then done, we're going to take two colours once again, Magos Purple and Leviathan Purple. And we're going to apply this over the disco ball. So we're going to start with Magos Purple. We're going to apply this all over, including the energy trails, like so. like that sort of thing. We will do the other side, but before we do, we're gonna wash the brush, then grab some Leviathan purple, and just over the flat of the ball, we're gonna apply this. Like so. Wash the brush. You will want to wash the brush between Passes so you don't end up popping some Magos purple into your pot of Leviathan purple. With that then done, we want a little bit of Griff Charger Grey to paint in this pendant down here. She's been sitting there glaring away at us. <laughs> so with that then done, we're gonna finish it off. Well, last base coat, 
by applying some Retributor armor all over the top. And then we're going to shade it as well with Gilliman Flesh. But we won't film that again because, well, we've already done that once. You guys know what you're doing now. So with that all done, he is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready and he's looking pretty good. However, what we're now going to do is we're going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. The first of these is going to be some thinned down blue horror. I'm going to use this as a little spot highlight, but also kind of a relay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to pick out the kind of sharpest points on his largest scales. So for example, like those ones there. However, on our kind of frost hearty flesh, flesh, we're going to mostly relayer this. Like, for example, around there on the face. But obviously, in the main area. Is his tummy. With that blue horror all applied, we then want to take a tiny little bit of flesh terror's red, not very much at all here. And we want to apply this over the top of his eyes. So with that done, the skin and the scales are now all finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take some thins down Dawnstone. And we're going to use this to highlight the black of his weapon, but also the black of the inner ring on the astrolith. Now this is not going to include the runes. We're going to do those differently. We'll also use this to highlight his claws. For example, down here. With that Dawnstone applied, we then want to take a small amount of some thinned down Administratum Grey. And we want to apply this to the sharpest points. Just like that sort of thing. So with that now done, we're gonna work on the biggest area, which is going to be all of the gold. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm going to use this to relayer basically any wide open spaces. So I'm going to start back here on the tail and we're going to relayer this over the top of this underside, just like this. Bring this over here. We want to catch that edge like that, just avoiding the recesses. Skip over and get the flat of that panel there. Just like that. We can avoid the little tail spike plugs. But otherwise, we're just gonna get this all over. And you can leave some bits to create like a little bit more of a variation if you want to. So for example, like these 
little bits of jewelry. Just gonna color in kind of raised areas like that. But we're gonna leave the actual kind of main body of the pendant as it were. So with that all done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Liberator Gold and we're gonna use this to highlight all of the gold. So once again, just gonna start down here on the tail. Once that's all done, we'll come back. So with that all done, he's suitably blingy and shiny and awesome. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to do is gems and we're going to take some flesh terrors red here and we're going to apply this over the top of any of the round gems so we've got a little one on either of his hip plates like that one there we've got the large one just here that. We've got the other large ones. Like that one there. And this one down here. Like so. Then we've also got the little ones up here on the headdress. That flesh tone is red applied. We then take some Talisar blue and we're gonna apply this over the top of the square gems here on his necklace. So with that all done, we've only got a couple of things left to do and these are mostly now on the standard. So he is pretty much finished. In fact, he is finished. We can call him done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on this orb here. And we're going to take some Fulgrim Pink and we're going to thin it down with sort of four or five parts water to make it really runny. And we're going to run this in between all of the recesses just like that to give it a glow but what we're also going to do is we're going to use this fulgrim pink to highlight the magos purple but for that we'll need some sort of very normal thinned down paint. So I want to tackle that in just a minute after you've got all of this done. So with that all done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some 
thinned down Sotec green. I'm going to use this to paint in all the runes around that inner ring. And with that Sotec green all applied, we then take a little bit of blue horror. We use this to add some little highlights. To those runes. And with that now done, it's time to finish him off by taking some thinned down Gorse Blaster Green. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the stone on the astrolith. Including the black bits. Just like this sort of thing. And with the base now complete, our Saurus Astrolith Bearer is now finished. And, well, it's really nice to paint Seraphon again. They are such a lovely range of models, especially the new ones. They're just so characterful. Lots of different textures on there, which makes them really fun to paint. And they're just really, really cool. You know, they're dinosaurs with weapons or riding other dinosaurs. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you, I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks, just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.